okay so welcome back here now it is uh it seems that uh our pretty urls ain't working so well because sometimes they do work sometimes they don't but in this case i have a dot php in my in my url and this is why it's not actually working but if i remove if i say something like profile for example uh it works and sometimes it doesn't like in this case it's actually not working so i don't know why that is so let's go back to index where we are not showing anything on the other side and look at that it's so sometimes it works sometimes it don't it, it doesn't so i think this comes from the the way we've set things up so i think instead of trying to keep both sides of the story where we can use .php and we sometimes just use the clean URLs is not going to work so we just have to pick a side so in this case let's change things a little bit so that we we just get rid of this uh, routing system we've created here and remove the router.php so that our home page is simply index.php or home.php right so here is how we're going to go about doing that so first of all let's just go to the main folder here and let's review our ht access file so at this point i want to change router to index.php so let me change that to index.php okay so i'm going to save that okay now that we've changed and rerouted everything to index.php it means the router.php is no longer a thing so we need to change router.php now the reason why i have changed from router to the index.php as the default and this is because normally on websites the default page is index.php so the server will automatically look for index.php so in order not to confuse it to start looking for router.php this is why i've decided let's shift it to the normal convention so now we if we change router to index.php we already do have an index.php which is the timeline so let's rename index.php to home.php like that so that it's different from the index page and then router.php i will remain rename that to index.php now so router becomes the index so let's go back to our text editor here and let's see those files from here so if i click on index.php you see this is the router now is index.php okay and then if i go to home.php where is that there we go so this one is the um actually this shouldn't be profile this should be timeline i think i forgot to change that because even profile.php has uh, profile there so which is not good so index.php no 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 home where are you okay so here we change that to timeline so that it shows timeline in there because this is the timeline after all so now that we've changed the hd access we can uh, happily close it and let's see what this has done so no nothing in the link there just my book localhost my book and let's refresh our page and we get an error so we're saying cannot re-declare split url on line 9 so it's being called on line 9 and we are redeclaring it on line 5 is it so let's see this is index.php right so let's go to index.php and see if we are redeclaring one function so this is the function here and from what i can see we are not actually redeclaring the function so what is going on okay so the issue here is uh, the index there see what i've told it is if the get url doesn't have anything in there just put index there so once we get index there it means at this point because index will be in this we're going to reload this very same page again so it's going to redeclare this function one more time because we just keep reloading this page over and over again in an endless loop 
okay because the moment we reload the page it's going to want to reload itself again which will create an endless loop i guess so it's a good thing we got the error so that we don't get the endless loop so to solve this problem i just need to tell it that if there's nothing in there just use um just use home not index and then if i remember correctly there was router here uh previously i think i changed this while trying to test something so make sure that this says index.php and not router.php so change that and then what else here i think everything else looks good yeah so let's test that now okay so it loads home.php and uh everything seems to load fine now just by doing that okay so let's go to our profile now and click there and then we have this problem again and that's because profile.p there's profile there's dot php at the end there unless we remove the dot php then we are fine so what we want to do now is to make sure that all our links do not have the dot php at the end all the redirects everything should remove the dot php so let me go let's start with the index page of course which is the timeline so let's look at everything here and just make sure that we are not uh, doing anything that has .php in here. So this would be quite easy to do. Let me go back to index uh, home right there. And let's just search for .php, right? .php. There we go. Now the include files are fine because we need to include those. It's just the links that we're concerned about. So let's keep searching. So href is a link definitely. So here we want to, instead of profile.php like that, right? We want to, um, wait a minute. I think we'll come back for these as well. For now, let's deal with the hrefs, right? So I think we can safely search for hrefs. So I will use this in the search. Now, at this point, what we want to do is just echo the PHP root like this. Like so. And then we remove the .php at the end like that. Let me find one more of these. Uh, so this is href page next page right so i think on next page we should be fine because this actually uh gives us it gets an entire link so let me see that okay so we'll have to make adjustments to the function that creates these things so where is the pagination function user pagination link so pagination link is actually in functions.php. Okay, so let's quickly sort that out because if I click next here, uh, we, we are doing that PHP thing again, which we are not supposed to do, right? So let me go back here. And so we can fix this. So if I refresh the page here, let me go back to my previous page, refresh the page. And you will see that now if I click on profile, it takes me to a nice uh, clean profile here because we are using the actual link there. Okay. And then now if I put some text here at the beginning, I say um, home slash, let me just put some random text there. Now, as you can see, this has disappeared here, and that's because we haven't given it an absolute path. So the moment you add more than one item in the URL, you get this issue for images. So let's make sure all images are given an absolute path. So I will search for source. That's not source like that. And right here where there's image, I will put root like so, which will help. So if I refresh the page, I should get my image. There we go. Now, if you notice also in the header, we are having a similar problem here. So let's go back to the header.php and then let's search for all sources. So there's source here uh, right before the image. Let me put root and a dot for concatenation. 
Same thing here, not if dot, uh, since this is uh, HTML, it's not PHP, I will do this. Root like that and close the tag. Let's go to another source. So it's only those two. Save that and let's refresh the page and we should get our imaging back. So that is a good sign. Okay, so now uh, let's go to where else here? While well, we are still on the index page. So let's come back to the top here. Uh, where is the index page? So any redirects here, okay? It's the home page actually I'm looking for. Let's go way up here and look for any header location like this one. So instead of sending us to the index like this, what we should do is just say, um location or oh, we need root here as well so location dot root dot profile oh no actually that's the home page it was supposed to send posting starts here okay so that's the home that's how we send somebody to the home page there so all redirects, remember to add root and then add the appropriate text on the other side. And what else, what else, what else, what else? So now on things like this, for example, where we need to get the get ID, for example, here, right? These get variables are no longer uh, accessible now because we are not using them. So we need a different uh, way to do this okay so that we don't we may not need uh, this way we'd, we won't need to go through the entire website and change this so we must just uh, supply them ourselves so what i will do is let's go to index.php here and then at the very top here what i want to do is just echo out the get variable right so there's a split URL there already existing, which will split our URL already. So, but before that, I want to show, or well, let me just print readable, the get variable, right? Let's print readable the get variable here. And let me refresh. So as you can see, the get has home slash one. It doesn't have those uh, ID is equal to and so on and so forth, which we are used to. Like for example, in this case, uh, if we want to get a profile, I don't even know why this exists here though, but uh, whatever the case is, ID is required there. So, which means we will never get this value here, get ID like that, okay? So instead, what we want to do is to look for which... Actually, we don't need to create... Um, because these things will be very different uh, from page to page. So, I think maybe we might not need to create a formula that does that. We just have to check what is inside the URL and figure out what item we need, right? Okay. So uh, when we need this, we will, we will change it. So let's go to the profile now. Let me refresh that. Let me go to the profile page. If I click here, that is profile page. So it, it seems things are working fine, but if I go to, for example, here, uh, where this one is following or followers here, and I click on uh, one of these people, you find that uh, we have that similar problem again because we are using the .php unclean URL. So let's go and adjust this inside uh, user.php. So let's go and... Now, the advantage of these things is that once I change post.php here, and I change user.php, it means whatever pages we are using these files, they will all have adjusted accordingly. So let's come back here and say user.php and 
this is user.php 